Hi guys, Yaka here. <clears throat> so, right now I'm playing one of the known archetypes from the last expansion, but there's a bunch of new cards in here, and uh, I'm having great fun with it right now. Don't be too, uh, uh, what could you say, like dazzled about the 75% oh, win rate, because the sample size is rather small. I'm just short of 20 games with this exact build. Um, but the, and I would say I tried another Highlander deck before with fewer cards from this expansion. This one is working so much better and feels much more powerful. Um, so th this is definitely more of a recommend. This is not budget though. And uh, uh, you, you need to have probably played the Highland archetype from the last expansion, but but if you had, uh, then then this is probably something that you have more or less, a little bit more easy access to. Um, you are a little bit disadvantaged against some of the aggressive builds at the moment, but you do have a little bit more play with it, with this exact build. So as you can see, it's like green across the board. Uh, some warriors you do struggle with, uh, uh, shamans, if they get the nuts start, uh, you need to really match that in the early game, or else you lose against Shaman, Hunters, the aggressive Hunters, Face Hunters, Highlander Hunters is probably the worst matchup for, for you. Um, and then the aggressive Demon Hunter builds as well. Um, but other than that, this is a great and viable deck also for tournaments and stuff like that. So have something that is really powerful where you uh, can match those uh, control decks you can really uh, punch through and provide a, a significant board and threats and damage um, so this I just want to show you the, the deck shortly and then I will jump into some gameplay so you can see the deck in action instead of me just hearing me talking um, a bunch of more early game uh, you have like uh, if you look at the distribution, uh, like more or less half, 14 cards are in the 3 mana cost and below. So just short of half the deck. And that is really important because uh, the old Highlander build were simply too slow in this meta as it is right now. On that there are stuff that in here that you do know from the last expansion. Uh, I'm not running uh, any secrets in here, and I would say that also something that you can replace if you find more powerful cards or something that you want to play. It could be Transfer Student. Um, it is good sometimes, but not always. Um, but it is early, and, and that it could be some of the important stuff here. Um, be careful you don't have a lot of healing in there. Um, the only thing you more or less only have is cartridge, other than maybe also Amazing Reno, of course, you can generate some armor, but that's a one-time thing. Um, to, to, you don't want to get too much behind again on the health side, especially if you're against uh, opponents which are really aggressive. Always keeps our... Uh, some of the early stuff like Brain Freeze, Arcane Breath. Arcane Breath can be good even though you even if you don't have a dragon. Uh, even better if you do have one. Astromancer Solarium, always a keep. Definitely Sephiris, you always want to keep that. Maybe you don't want to do a tempo play, but, but he gives you cards which gets you out of situations where you are really in a tight spot. And that's kind of it. Other than that, you have to consider the stuff, the, the person you're up against. So if, for instance, you're up against a uh, a priest, uh, and priests have, like, they have the Highlander build right now, or they're more control-based as it is in the meta, then you would probably want to keep Arcane Intellect to have more options um, once you play, uh, so you draw into some stuff. Um, other than that, uh, than that, it, it just uh, simply plays how you want to present significant threats, and then um, you you use uh, this ability that you can get on the board, and and um, 
and through that spiral out of control. But I think we should jump into some gameplay so you can see how the deck actually works. I'll leave a uh, deck code in the description so you can try this out yourself and see how much you have and if you're missing any cards. Um, and I did a few suggestions of stuff you can replace. Um, but it is an expensive deck and be careful not to craft stuff uh, right now because the meta is still trying to settle in and um, and therefore uh, it could be that you waste your dust on this deck. So be careful, don't craft anything, but if you do have the cards and you do have uh, some of the, the new ones uh, from this expansion, then you could try it out. I think it's great fun and it seems really strong as well. Against another mage. Let the game begin. Your curiosity will be the end of you. So there's a. Uh, I think the most prevalent list right now is the Temple Mage because that, that's more new cards in that deck. Then there's the Highlander, which I play, and then there's the uh, Spell Damage one. And it can be either or, but I think the tempo one is the most likely. <sighs> then I want some early stuff, earlier than the Crimson Hothead. But if it's Highlander, I want to draw into some more cards. I'll keep the Arcane Intellect. Imprison the server is quite good if it's tempo. It did a full keep. It seems like it's Highlander because if you didn't mulligan for early game stuff. Yeah, it's Highlander just like me. Then Arcane Intellect was quite good. But I do want to develop a thread. You fight me, you get burned. That is running the tempo list, but still. I'll just make him waste it. Job done. No dragon in hand, therefore aspect of magic is not going to be that good. Draw into one. <laughs> then, when he does this, then Jandis is not going to be good playing into this. What am I talking about not having a dragon? I do have a dragon. I don't want to use Sephiroth just yet, but this should be able to give me something, and if not, it's a good body for absorbing the spell burst. Yeah, I'll just use this later on. I was thinking about the Frostbolt, that would have been good. still be tempo even though he was quite late to it if not then the um, Highlander list is rather different Use the Crimson Hot Hat and then Rare Frost twice. Uh, could also. Hmm. 
drop this in the rear thrust one of them. All in due time. This is a little bit awkward. I'll do this in the rear thrust one of them. Then he knows, of course, which one to ping, but it would be a little bit weird not to use the rush minion. Then he only has four mana left, so that's kind of there. Then I can use Ras and Blood Mace down to clear the one, two. Let's see what he drops. Oh, however did you figure that one out? <laughs> Let's see, you can also use that one. That's even better. I'll use this to play around Flame Ward. Feeling dizzy. I'll use this one to play around Mirror Entity. We have okay. True takes then there's a spell based. Um, probably Netherwind portal, but Someday could be either one. Just about saying, must have some kind of way to clear that one, or else that play won't make sense. I'm just still clearing the board. No, I'm not. Spell damage one. I guess I need to test for counter spell somehow. So I can do this. I'm gonna do that one. Counts well. Good. Should keep me holding over. Your wish is my suggestion. I think that's the strongest card I can think of. Yeah, holding over. Still seems like a Highlander list, but no. I'll get rid of that one. We got the Astromancer and Divine Shield. Rush. Get rid of that one. And drop a threat. But if he does have uh, Zephyrus, if that were me, then I would steal Severian. 
line up the mana for Shadow of Madness and then put the uh, Seer Mat to one health and then steal it and drop it, punch it in. We'll see. What makes something real? Hmm, interesting. How does he use his rush minion? Oh, so that was the one. All right. <clears throat> Should I poof? Is <laughs> getting the poof online? I think yes. Or is survive the power of creation? I guess I have ways of managing All in due time. Dragon Queen. Watch closely as I make everyone disappear. You are poofed. We shall end this disturbance. But is it still a little more tempo oriented? Two damage, and that one three seven. Can we drop Caligus, but still. Caligus and then deep race. What would make this again. Ray of Frost for the Doomsayer. I'll throw both and get the damage. Then I could do something with the combustion frost bolt, something like that. Who's ready for a little shoulder? It is a Musaki spell damage deck. Well that one is getting a fireball. What? Aurea Frost, of course. Of course! Too much life toll on the other side. And he doesn't have the um, uh, what are they called? The apprentices. First off, that one's going away. Then we can clear the board. And lifesteal that one. We'll do that. You get clear. Now you get lifesteal. And 
and then concede. That's an order. Okay, fair enough. You got some written prime. Makes sense to drop that one. Ow! Oh, that's not helping. <laughs> Ooh! Bad Solarium Prime. Oh, it says explode. Oh, is it eleven. Okay, that's a conceit. Thing. Yes, no? Oh, there we go. Okay. Fire and combustion is a good early game control tools. So is Reno, actually. Your curiosity will be the end of you. This could be bomb wire. If that's the case, I'd much rather will want a Zephyrus. I don't think there's really that aggressive lists. These are good cards, but I'm playing against this as if it is bomb wire. And then this is the correct play in order to get weapon removal through Sephiroth. Because I don't have anything else in the deck. This might be wrong, but if it is bomb wire, then he has to throw the uh, anchor first. I have an activator for the arcane breath, but I'll use this one first. So far, I'd much rather one that he swings the anchor to my face instead of clearing minions. No range caliber. <laughs> I guess I'll. Now my hand a little bit. I'm not gonna ping my own minion. I could do that if I was desperate for some kind of spell and answers and stuff. I think whatever he does. Exactly. I haven't drawn Zephyrus, but that was what I was playing around. Now I will ping my own minion. Zephyrus. Mm, you're just on cue here, man. But I want to guarantee that he gives me. Uh, he should give me. Um, oh. Harrison here, right? I think so. Your wish is my suggestion. I want card draw as well. No, okay, then it's this one. 
Oh, that's five mana. I got that sword. Uh, wrong in my head. I also used a um, upgrade on that one. It's perfect. Good job, Zephyrus. I'll show you who's boss. Okay, that's a board here. Okay. Both of them are any of them generated? No, right? No. I couldn't see from where, by the way. We can use the action press on that one to reduce the amount of armor that he gets. And then... Still has the coin. That could work. Alright, I'm just playing Reno. I have enough elementals, that's not gonna do enough. No wind. Oh. It'll make for an awkward turn for him. Maybe I just have another. Doesn't have it in hand necessarily, but he does have another armor smith, so I want to get rid of those two risky skippers. Fair enough. It's gone. The either power of creation. I can use that with the Netherwind portal. So I'm just going to use the power of creation. Mm. Ooh, that's a lot of spells. But it's also a massive amount of stats. Um, but. Blade Storm just clears them. Uh, that one also just clears them. I can use Firebrand on that one. And I'll float a mana. But pull him off and doesn't make too much sense when I have other answers for it. Yeah. Hmm. You fight me, you get burned. Turn it up. Much rather one solarium shuffled into the deck. I'm trying to worry about um, pinging away armor right now. Then, but I only have one Highlander card left, and that's Dragon Queen. So I guess it's it's fine. It's not great. Let's see. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Kansas flow. I'll just do a brain freeze. Wake and even up. though I might get my port buffed, I'll do this instead. Could be that I freeze my stuff. Thank you. Okay. 
I guess the fox is good enough just freezing his face. I can I want to freeze him as much as I can this one can give me freeze I have frost bolt uh, draw four cards no I don't think so I want to give him damage just a bit of a board now. Mosaki could grow. And he might have cores and stuff like that. It is kind of a control deck. 25% yeah. have Mosaki Soraya. <clears throat> yeah, like I mentioned, coerce. Rest Frost Whisper. Uh, which minions are I concerned about? There's not that many. Oh. I used all his blade storms, so I guess I can do that. Let's see if we can manage. Your wish is my suggestion. What will I give him? What will I, what's the best card you can get for it, mana? Tyrion? The void is Celine? I wouldn't say it's amazing. What? Ow. We also do that, then that's four. Oh. I think that is actually better. So I'll do this. Two bombs. the cut to, to clear that one just need to dodge two bombs that's it and whatever he drops I can use frost nova just to hold off the board do try to keep yourselves alive But that does give me help.
Durrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
could have been much worse. Cool. So I think this is a, a prime example of how well this deck can actually perform even in, against uh, uh, severe odds. And uh, it's really expensive, uh, but if you do have the cards for it, uh, I think it's great fun to play. Um, I'm not arguing that this is the best deck in the meet head on, but I do see good results with it. and. Uh, it, it resembles the stuff we've seen in the last expansion, and it's still quite good. So try it out if you did like the Highlander Mage uh, way of playing, and you have the cards. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys.